two other countries in your jurisdiction under South Asia, obviously you have the, the stands as well, uh, Pakistan and Sri Lanka that also voted to abstain uh, from this vote. Uh, can you talk briefly about your disappointment in those decisions and what efforts were made uh, with respect to those countries? I was on the phone at 6 o'clock last night speaking to the uh, Sri Lankan ambassador here. My colleague in the bureau was on the phone with the uh, Indian DCM. We have worked very hard, I'm sorry, with the Pakistani DCM <coughs> to try to convince them to vote um, in favor of this resolution. Um, what's it is disappointing how many countries have abstained. I would also look to how many countries can I Can I just ask, Mr. Ambassador, did, did anybody in the administration pick up the phone and call the Pakistani foreign minister or the prime minister of, uh, of Pakistan? And no, as, as you know, our, our charge has met recently with the Pakistani foreign minister. But um, on this, as, on, as, on as this topic, know, no, on this, Mr. on this topic? Uh, on votes in the UN. On the Ukraine vote? On, the Ukra on Ukraine votes, not specific to the UN General Assembly vote. But as you may know, Prime Minister Khan has recently uh, visited Moscow, and so I, I think uh, we're trying to figure out how to engage specific specifically with the Prime Minister following that decision. Well, as you know, the, uh, there was a meeting uh, with, in, in Delhi with, with, the, with the Russians as well. I, the point is we need a strong, concerted effort with respect to all of these countries, Pakistan, Sri Lanka, and India, I understand that you, you made some efforts. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Mr.